everyone good evening students how are you all and i hope that you all are super awesome i'm ankita sharma your master teacher of biology and i welcome you everyone in this amazing class where we will be studying about why do we fall in just one short video so i hope all of you are ready with it don't leave the class in between don't forget to hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our amazing channel with that everyone let's start our class with a motivation quote now there's one thing that we keep on telling ourselves that there are something that i can't do something i can do but there is something that you can do today right that your future will be thankful for whatever doing whatever you are doing currently yeah there's always uh some mishap with the words that happens but the things that you're doing today everyone right now those are the things which be helping you in your future for example if you're studying now hard you are using your all your positive energy in your studies you will be excelling in your examination with that note let's move to the homework question and of course before the homework question anyways we have this revision session campaign which is going on everyone now this is really very important because in just 3 days everyone we will be finishing of entire syllabus all these amazing teachers everyone will be here and will be helping you right so do register for it it's for class 10th let's move to the homework question everyone and i ask you how is the heart of a reptile different from that of bird and an exception in this regard amongst the reptiles so let's see I got few of the answers, and I asked about that also. That you know, which mammals basically lay eggs? So we have the Cyrenia and the Platypus that lays eggs. Priyan was the first one to answer, I think. Then Hannah have answered. That's so good, everyone. They have mentioned about the exceptions also. That's so amazing. Detailed answers are always welcome, and I'm so happy that you who you know, majority of you have given us the right answer. now that just gives us a boost of energy now everyone today we are studying why do we fall ill and let's start our class yes now let's talk about the health and what is actually according to the healthy individual is a healthy individual will be a one everyone which is socially physically and mentally strong and of course mentally healthy a person who is aware about the surrounding who a person who is aware about his body and a person who is aware about and conscious about to do the things that are really important for the surrounding and for of themselves also so these individual will be called as healthy when we talk about your wellness everyone there are different aspects of it that we have to follow to become a healthy individual and what are those spiritual right you must have seen a lot of people nowadays turning to meditation because they find it it's very soothing process it calms your body down it helps you to motivate yourself and plan your day properly in this chaotic world then we have emotional stability social environmental physical and of course the mental one right so these all aspects everyone will be taken put together and of course will be going for the wellness now these all things are really very important in every individual and because of that only this whole sense will you know this whole world will make a lot of sense moving on ahead we have this now now someone asked me ma'am why we get ill why why a person has to suffer from a disease the simple answer everyone there are the causes of disease right a person can suffer from the a various number of diseases why the person is suffering could be a various reason the person is not getting proper amount of rest that is required by the body for example tomorrow is your exam and maybe today you will study throughout the night and maybe during the examination time when you're writing you might feel drowsy you might feel that you're not able to concentrate fully these are the things happens everyone if you're not taking adequate rest so rest is super important then comes healthy food and unhealthy food so your parents your teachers everyone will keep on telling you to eat healthy food but what happens you don't listen we usually eat the junk food ended up giving up more of laziness and of course doing problem in our digestion process also hence these things are the unhealthy food which leads to the causes of diseases next everyone lack of exercise now you are kids now you are all students you go to the school you play so i hope that you are doing right amount of exercise please keep on doing that because if you don't do it that will be the major cause of disease that you can have 
disconnect with the nature, stress, negative thoughts, environmental pollution, very important everyone, and unhealthy habits. These are the things that can cause your uh, disease everyone. Now when you're talking about disease, disease, let's see what are the disease and what are the two different types of the disease we have. So we can differentiate the disease on based of two, first of all, first we have the duration and the other will be how the uh, infection is spreading. So in the duration everyone, we have acute and the chronic. Now acute are the disease which are there for a very short time, common cold or the cough, right? They'll be there for a very short time. Short duration responds well to the treatment. Now these are very short term diseases. On the other hand, everyone, we have the chronic disease. There are long term diseases like AIDS, diabetes, right? It will be there for a very long time. And of course, difficulty in the treatment is also one of the major challenge in these diseases. Next, everyone, based on the causes, we can see there are two different types of diseases, non-infectious and infectious. As a word say, non-infectious are the diseases that cannot be spread from one person to the other person. For example, if I'm suffering from one disease, I will not be able to give it to anyone. That disease is the non-infectious diseases. Okay. Now, of course, in this, we can have a heart attack, asthma, right? In the infectious diseases, everyone, we are, these are the diseases that can cause from one person to the other person, easily spread. What it could be? Typhoid tuberculosis. Now these are the diseases that can easily transfer from one person to the other person and that's why they're called as the infectious diseases everyone. Let's see. Now over here everyone we have a lot of infectious agent. We'll be talking about this everyone in a bit more detail but if you see on the screen there are variety of the microbes everyone which causes diseases. Worms, bacteria, fungi, virus and protozoa. Let's see uh, the different types of human diseases they usually cause. So everyone here is a table. I would uh, request all of you to take a screenshot of it. Can you see everyone? Bacteria causes tuberculosis, pneumonia, right? A co common examples. Tetanus. Okay. There are things that I mentioned in your textbook. Virus, AIDS, HIV, influenza, herpes, polio, common cold, measles, chicken pox, fungi, athlete foots, Right, ringworm, protozoa, amoebasis. See everyone, these are the malaria, very common. Then we have the parasites, hookworm, pharyasis. This you have studied, the elephantasis, right? Very, very important disease that I mentioned in your textbook. Okay, now you should remember this everyone. Over here, let's just discuss in a bit more detail about the different types of diseases and the causing agent and of course how we can treat them. So everyone, malaria we know that is caused by the plasmodium, right? Malaria is caused by the plasmodium. As I hope everyone can see it, right? It is caused by the plasmodium and everyone, how it is spread basically mode is the female mosquito a female mosquito basically will be carrying the plasmodium and they will be coming and will be biting us releasing the plasmodium into our body and it will go to our liver and there it will multiply come back to the body and again they will take it and this is a whole cycle which keeps on revolving and this is how the malaria is a infectious disease like not a very infectious in terms of from if i'm standing i can give malaria to other one but yeah with the help of a mosquito, it can spread to the various number of people. So disease, malaria. Causing agent is plasmodium. Then we have mode of transmission by the bite of a female mosquito and controls the use of the quinine. It's a drug that can use. And of course, what is the prevention? We have to assure that no mosquitoes are around and definitely using some kind of mosquito repellent or of course, keeping the environment clean so that the mosquitoes are not coming. Next everyone, diarrhea, protozoa, bacteria, virus, any of the thing can cause of a diarrhea, contaminated food and water especially, ORS and of course sugar solution can help us and of course proper hygiene and the proper sanitation will help in prevention from the diarrhea. Then we have cholera everyone caused by the vibrial cholera, right, contaminated food and the water everyone, if you are drinking contaminated food or water, we might get it, there are a lot of antibodies antibiotics we can take and of course for this also proper sanitation is important now this everyone typhoid and tuberculosis are super important disease so we have the salmonella typhi everyone this is the causing agent right 
usually coming from the contaminated food and contaminated water antibiotics of the use and of course we have to assure that we're drinking clear water tuberculosis myo bacterium tuberculosis everyone again same things lot of you know wheezing will occur a lot of cough will be there in the symptoms okay and of course we have this and there are basically proper medicines that are provided for these type of diseases let's move ahead now we have some of the viral diseases everyone okay we have hepatitis rabies aids and influenza so they have given a list you can take a screenshot of it everyone and then we are good to go ahead let's move now when we talk about the infectious diseases everyone they can be spread from one person to the other person through a various modes of modes basic there are various modes of transmission let's see them first we have the air right tuberculosis common cold normal if i'm sneezing here and if i'm suffering from the influenza virus i might give it to the other people who are surrounding me so this is an air bound disease right air spreading through the air then everyone we have water coming from the water dirty water over here we have the cholera and the typhoid then we have the sexual transmitted diseases that are usually caused if a person who is suffering is indulging in a physical act with the other person and that will be giving us aids or syphilis and different types of other stds moving on to the last one everyone this is a vector now vector everyone can you see mosquito a person who is suffering right is completely fine and there's one mosquito bit him and go to the completely healthy person from this the vectors can actually transfer these various diseases so that's why we'll be considering the vector bound diseases also okay let's move ahead how we can prevent the diseases everyone now this is all about disease 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 now comes an important thing how we can prevent it so basic things everyone cleaning ourselves cleaning our surrounding clean then of course have proper sanitation washing our hands before and after the food yes and of course what healthy diet is important taking our medicines on time taking vaccination and spreading awareness these are the common thing that we can do to prevent ourselves and the others from getting any sort of disease okay so once we are doing it what will happen you and me the other people around will be completely aware about it and they can also keep them uh, keep themselves basically protected okay let's move ahead everyone and the last topic that we have everyone is the prevention and that we have typically the vaccines we have discussed in detail in the classes everyone if you haven't watched the classes go and there's a huge playlist of omang series for ninth class in which basically we talked about our vaccinations and the immunization now vaccines everyone are the sure shot method of the protection they will have some time kills microbes or weakened microbes and those microbes will be injected into the our body now once these microbes enter in our body everyone they fight with the body cells that we have in our body the immune cells during this fighting everyone we know that usually our body cells you know when because they are the microbes are a bit more weak or they are dead but there are special type of cells basically b memory cells which go to the brain and say that to fight this type of microbes we have to give this type of antibody so they just keep it safely in their brain so whenever it is coming to your body your body can fight that's how everyone the vaccine work and this is really very important method for the prevention chicken pox measles hepatitis hepatitis everyone polio drops we usually take now these are some of the common vaccination that you and i have taken you can talk to about your parents that you know at what age you got your first vaccination and what is the role behind it and do let me know in the comment section below did you did that research or not okay i want to know the answer this is how we'll become the scientists right let's move ahead everyone and see this with this we have the q amazing quiz time let's see the first question which of these is caused by a virus everyone which of these is caused by a virus typhoid ringworm common cold or all of these the right answer is common cold everyone as you all are right the right answer is common cold common cold is caused by the virus whereas typhoid bacteria ringworm by the fungi question number 2 on your screen everyone an organism that spread diseases and infection is called as 
What do you think? An organism that is spreading the diseases is called as what? Pathogen, host, vector or both B and C. You're right everyone. Option number C is right vectors. Question number three everyone on your screen. Let's see. The principle of vaccination was discovered by who discovered the principle of vaccination? Who actually invented it? Come on. Yes, your answer is right everyone. Option number A is right, Edward Jenner. Now you must have read that during the time of the cow pox infection, he basically did this research and this discovery. So you remember right what he did? He saw that people who are actually the, the maids who are working with the cattle are completely safe from the smallpox. So he go he and, and he observe it that the cows also suffer from the smallpox, right? And from their body, some of the antibodies must have entered into the females, the maid's body and have given them the immunity to fight. And basically they took their blood, mix it with and inject it into the people suffering from the cowpox disease and they were cured. So this is how the discoveries occur everyone. Question number 4 on your screen. African sleeping sickness is caused by African sleeping sickness is the parasite disease everyone and the right answer is option number A trypanosome right basically it is caused by a paras uh, protozoa okay and this is a very common disease in the Africa that's why it is called as the African sleeping disease question number five everyone on your screen antibiotics work against fungi virus bacteria all of these and the right answer is the bacteria. They don't work against the virus and of course they don't work against the fungi. They work only against the bacteria everyone. Okay. With this we are end of the class here at the end of the class everyone. But next we have more of the things for you. Like the thank you note. Right. I don't know whether I am the yellow one or you are the white one. But yeah. We are just thankful that you are here. Starting with us. And don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button everyone. That's really appreciate our efforts over here. Moving on everyone, we have a homework question for you. So I am moving aside, do take a screenshot. Antibodies should be used and necessary, administrating the right doses. Give reason. So we know that we use antib antibodies, but how we should use it and what are the doses of it that we should use, you have to write that answer. So I will be waiting for your answers. Moving ahead everyone, we have this list of amazing students who were with us and who did awesome in their board examination. Be it 12th class, 10th class, ICSC, KPPY exam and PRMO. So you can be a part of us everyone. Don't forget this, a revision camp is coming very soon in which we will be talking about the great things. Okay, so I want you to join these classes everyone, register now. With that everyone, time's up. I'm leaving the class with my email address. If you want to reach out to me, please reach out to me. Don't forget to hit the like button everyone. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And bell icon everyone is super important because you will get the notification when we are putting up our next video. On that note, bye bye everyone. All the best for your learning. Lots of love. Bye bye.